Welcome to Many Facts This Week in Neurosurgery. We have an interesting episode to show you today, and uh, today's problem is in, re in relation to neurosurgical trauma. 25-year-old uh, boy was riding his bicycle as usual, getting his exercise, minding his own business, when so somebody suddenly opened the car door and hit him and he fell off his bicycle and smashed his head on the sidewalk. He gradually became unconscious. Then he regained his consciousness and was taken to the nearby hospital here, the Regina General Hospital. Shortly after arrival in hospital, his level of consciousness started going down again. So by the time he was seen, he was actually getting deeply unconscious. Naturally, we obtained a CT of his head, and this is the CT. The CT revealed this large blood clot. So let's scroll up and down that and this is a large blood clot here compressing on the brain and uh, displacing the brain quite significantly. It is important to know what a normal scan is like and this is what a normal scan would look like. I'll show you what a regular normal scan is in a different individual. And um, but in this patient's case, this is what we saw here. Fairly large blood clot that built up and caused pressure on the brain. We took the patient to surgery and uh, removed the blood clot, and uh, he has done remarkably well following that. The issues here, though, are that, first of all, the diagnosis. Just because an individual has regained a consciousness after a fall does not mean that everything is okay. And the relatives in this case helped the situation by still taking the young man to the hospital. That interval between the initial loss of consciousness and the loss of consciousness a few, about half an hour later, is referred to as the lucid interval. The first loss of consciousness was from concussion, then the patient got better, and then the second loss of consciousness was because the blood clot here was gradually building up and pre putting pressure on the brain and causing the loss of consciousness again. People die in this sort of situation if the hematoma in the blood clot is not relieved uh, rapidly. The other issue about this case is that uh, the 25-year-old young man was not wearing a helmet. And uh, sometimes you see people taking family on a walk, on a, a family ride. The children are wearing the helmet, the parents don't. This is something that one should think about very seriously. The surgery to remove this blood clot is not a big deal, provided one the patient is taken to the hospital uh, rapidly because time is of the essence. Also, if this individual lived a couple of hours away from a hospital where this kind of surgery can be done, then it could be a problem. The best way to prevent some of these injuries is to wear a helmet. So bear in mind the next time you go bicycle riding, helmets save lives. Think first, use your head, wear a helmet when you are going for a bicycle ride. Thank you very much.